Joseph B2, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman wants to know, moms and wives, are you all okay? No more wasting time. Let's get it. I've been holding this story in for a while, but now I think I'm going to say it because I feel like I just want to ask moms and married women, are y'all okay? Like, are y'all generally okay? Because although I'm young, I'm 23, I turned 24 in December, and I'm not married, or I don't, and I don't have kids yet. I just started my career, just graduated college. <laughs> y'all don't make it look fun, right? So in real life, and on social media I do, but not in real life. So basically, I was going to go get sushi, and they don't close until like 1 a.m., right? Because I have so many college kids that lives around me. So basically, I was going in there probably like around 12 o'clock I was going in there. And it was an older woman in there. Wait, it was a woman in there. And she was in there, like, sitting in the corner. And I know the staff there, and they were trying to think of ways to, like, politely tell her to leave, right? Me being me, I go and I sit near her, and I'm like, and as I got closer to her, as I sat down, mm -hmm. she's like, tears just sliding down her face. Like, tears just sliding down her face. And so... I'm like, man, I don't want to be in your business, but like, can I hand you a napkin? Like, is everything okay? Can I hand you a tissue? Like, how are you feeling? And she's just like, you can tell she held back, right? She held back. And then she just starts like letting it all out. And she's just like, I don't want to go home to my kids. Mm. She's like, I have two young kids and she just doesn't want to go home to them. Like she just wants to run away and start a whole new life without them, right? And she was just like, I'm stressed out. I work. I come home. I cook. My husband works. Everything is just so expensive. What Like, I can't do this anymore. And honestly, I thought she was on the brink of unaliving herself. So that's what really got me like, the nurse in me was like, girl, like, calm down. Like, let, let, we can talk this out. Let's do this, right? And the crazy thing is, I thought she was an older woman. But she's 34. She's 34. And I thought she was like in her 40s. She's 34. She married her husband at 19. She just was like, don't ever get married. I wasted my life. Family is overrated. Having kids is overrated. Being married is overrated. And like she said that she just wanted a break. Like she just couldn't do it. And that if she could go back in time. She wouldn't have gotten married. She would have gotten her career because now she wants to go back in school and do stuff, but she can't afford it because her kids are there and she has to put all the money that she does make. She has to go to her kids. And it's just like, this is my problem. Like, this is, it's crazy how this came to me because it's like, you guys push women into getting married and having kids, but women really don't know what they're signing up for. And the crazy thing is she said, she was, I was like, oh, cause you know, I want to get married and have a kid. She was like, take as long as you can. And it's like, I just want to say that to women, like, mm. I, I'm pro, so pro-family and so pro-marriage because my parents to this day are still married. But it's like, it's like, know what you're getting into. Like, don't let this social media pressure you into signing up something that you are not mentally, financially, and everything else prepared for because that's your future. Okay. This this video went a different direction than I was expecting, but I'm, I'm going to say something here that's going to surprise everybody. Some of you are going to understand. But most people are going to be surprised. I think this is great news. I think the more that women, because one thing that she said there that shouldn't go unmentioned is that she said, you don't make it look fun. The more that the younger women run into these women here who didn't understand what marriage was all about, who are ready to abandon their kids. This is like the video of the chick. And I don't think I actually cre actually don't think I made a video about this. I just watched it and I thought of making one. But she said, what's the benefit? She was asking other moms, what's the benefit of being a mother? Because she didn't decide whether she wanted to be a mother or not. She's probably reaching that age where that um, fertility window was closing. And I thought this mother gave the perfect response to her. She said, if you have to ask the question of what's the benefit, what do you get out of that situation? Then it's not for you. 
then you probably won't make a good mother. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. You're gonna be like this woman who's ready to abandon and leave her kids, her family, and put yourself first, and you probably should live a life alone. I've done videos reacting to women who've said, hey, you know what? I don't wanna get married, I never wanted to. That's great. The less women who have unrealistic expectations for marriage and aren't prepared to accept it for what it is, less women that are in that pool of people who are trying to come together, build families and um, stay committed to vows, the better for everyone. This needs to happen more often as far as like this message being preached. People need to know that it's not all about fun. And if that's why you're getting involved, if you're getting in there because you think it's going to make you happy, then you're going to have a very miserable time. You're probably going to be a home wrecker by breaking and leaving your home. A lot of women today who are currently married and or want marriage don't understand what marriage truly is. It's not about, it's not all about you. It's about duty. You get fulfillment out of it. This life is, this life is not about happiness. There's no part of your life that's about you being at a consistent high all the time. It's hard work. Yes, it's challenging. It's difficult. And unfortunately, we're in a generation of women who are just not built for that. Let's check out some of these comments here and see what the people have to say. First comment here from a woman says, money and good partner makes all the difference. Make sure you can hire help because you can't do it all. Yeah. That can't be the solution, you know, is find a guy who makes, who's a high earner because not every woman can get that, right? Here's another comment from another woman that says, coming from an older woman who's single, please invest in self-discovery and enjoy your youth. Kids are a blessing, but parenting is a huge sacrifice. So again, we have another woman who's like, ah, she sounds like she has regrets. And that message is important to the women who will get to the end of their parenting and say, I regret that because they're going to show that in the way that they treat their children. Here's another comment that says, happily divorced mom of two, don't date, don't get married, don't have kids. Imagine your mother saying that, don't have kids. Here's another comment that says, we not okay, sis, please take your time. Another woman who feels trapped. Here's another comment from another woman that says, women that I come across tend to be unhappy because they didn't have a chance to just live for themselves or their partner isn't really a partner always the man's fault or they didn't get enough fun in the streets for other men to bust the cheeks now the comment here from another woman says it looks miserable i always see how they struggle especially when they're at the airport or something dragging all that stuff around perfect example of a woman who shouldn't be married like if this is your outlook if you have to ask a bunch of times if kids are for you if marriage you know and and, and you're obsessing over that and you feel strongly probably not for you because from what we all see the type of selflessness it takes to take care of children to dedicate your your life to somebody else is a lot here's another comment from another woman that says nope 32 years of marriage i'm just going through the motions of life stay single ladies somebody else here says this the second post i've seen you on i saw you on a different video thanks for your honesty here's another chick who probably shouldn't have gotten married because she wasn't built for it she responded back and says just being honest marriage is tough and usually the women sacrifice everything lies and another comment here that says, yes, I'm happy. Who you marry determines how you will view being married slash a wife slash or mother. My man had never made me feel alone when we had kids. Again, I, I'm hesitant to completely give props to a comment that just puts all the responsibility on the man and really doesn't talk about the type of mindset that a woman needs to bring to the table. And I like what this chick said in the video about understanding the mindset you need to have. Here's another comment that says, exactly, I'm happily divorced. I was just telling my 23-year-old nurse, please be selfish. Don't rush to be married or have kids. You know, the other problem I see is a lot of women aren't really great at accepting the reality that, you know, you're never going to be... And, and this can be people in general, but I see this in a lot of women, man. The married woman looks at the single women and says, oh, I wish I was single. Look at all the freedom you have. The single woman looks at the married woman and says, oh, I wish I found a man. Look at all the hours you don't have to work and the people you have around you. You can't have 
it all. There's also that. As always, I'm curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.